wrapped up on Drudge. But if you go to InfoWars.com, we have an update, flashback, 13 airplanes vanished from radar months before theft of jetliners in Libya. Then we see the same make and model of the Malaysian aircraft disappear around Diego Garcia, and then another one magically gets shot down over Ukraine. Alleged hack attack took down air traffic control system in June, highlighting current dangers of missing jets. The disappearance of 11 jetliners in Libya brings to mind the 13 planes that vanished from radar in Europe due to the reported hack attack, highlighting a scenario in which commercial jets invisible to radar are purposefully crashed into cities and other critical infrastructure. And that's also a way for them to claim planes disappeared and then have them pop back up later. Uh, back in June, two unprecedented blackouts caused 13 planes flying over Europe to disappear from radar screens, leaving air traffic controllers with no information on their location. Speed detection or height and the series of blackouts lasted up to 25 minutes. Several reports suggested air traffic control systems were hacked, according to the Telegraph. Planes disappeared from screens for a matter of seconds here and there. A German air traffic control spokesman said it must have been an external source of disruption. Yeah, they just like on 9-11 their screens blacked out or other simulated planes got put in by NORAD and other centralized DARPA systems that have control. See, they have back doors and the cell phones, the cloud, your smart meters. These are the little robots that are in control of everything controlled by Skynet, the globalist eugenicist. <clears throat> and so now they're announcing in Tokyo, robot cops to watch the public, robot cops to be in malls in England, robots to serve people their food at hotels and hospitals and again robots won't tattle if you're being given a lethal injection nobody knows about robots won't care about war crimes robots won't say no delivering stinger missiles to al-qaeda it's the fact that we are entering an absolute science fiction time let me tell you nobody should be bored right now because this is an epic time to be alive let's go to this video we just tweeted it out at Real Alex Jones, easiest place to find it on Twitter or Infowars.com. Man stands up for his constitutional rights as police demand to enter his home without warrant. This is the way to handle the police state. He's polite, he's focused, he knows his rights, and they say, who you been listening to? And they were going door to door, knock, 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 we're looking for a felon, show us your ID. Not, hey, your neighbor saw you climbing in this house, do you live here? Or, hey, your alarm went off. That would be reasonable. They would have a reason to, just to come to your house, though. Hey, uh, we think the Boston bomber may be somewhere in the city. Come out with your hands up. And you're a blonde-haired woman or a black woman. You know, you're not the young man they're looking for. This is a police state. You can argue, well, the end justifies the means. No, it's never been allowed here, but it was allowed in Soviet Russia and Nazi Germany and North Korea. It is dangerous. It is evil. It is going to destroy this country. I don't care if the feds give you training to do it. It's wrong. Let's go to this video and audio. Hello, who is it? Oh, uh, hello. Can you turn it off? No, I can't. Okay, I said turn it off. No. Yes. Turn yes. It off. Do you have a warrant? Do you, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We have a baby here. Okay, okay, let me explain okay. yourself. Okay. I'm a sure the sheriff's department. We're looking for a wanted felon. Okay, he's not okay. here. He's not turn here. Turn it off because I don't know what it is. It's a cell phone. Don't, you don't see put it in my is. face. Don't put it in my hold face. On. What's your name? Okay. I don't have to tell you that. Do you have a warrant? Okay. First of all, I mean sure. three types of ID. Okay. Explain who you are, because you could be anybody dressed up in a uniform. Really? By the Supreme Court, yes. You, you want to play games? I'm not you playing games. I'm going to drag you out if you... If you st That's why I'm recording okay. this. Straight to YouTube. Is there anybody else in the house? Then? No, there's nobody else in the house. There's me and my family. That's it. Okay, let me explain it to you, okay? We got a female in the apartment complex, just got beat up by her parolee at large boyfriend. I right? watched the whole thing. You did? Yes. Okay. From then my why window. don't you help us and step out and tell us what's going on? I seen the dude walk off. I seen him. I heard him arguing. Do you know? I, no, I don't. I okay, I'm see being him. told that you guys okay. are friends with him. No, I see him in my. I, okay. He's do my you neighbor. Have an ID? As far as that? No, I don't have to describe that to you. Do you have a warrant? Or do you suspect me of committing a crime? I don't. You could be harboring a fugitive. I'm you not could be harboring a fugitive. All I know. It's I'm not. Picture There's nobody in here. If you want to check, please go get a warrant. There's nobody else in here. Sir, just show us ID and then we'll make if sure you're, you're not, not him. him. I'm not him. Like. I'm not him. Okay. We don't know what he looks like. Okay. Okay. Show us your okay. ID, guy. She'll explain to you what he looks like. Describe what he looks like. Okay. Okay. She didn't describe what he looks like. 
I don't have to describe my ID. Hey, drop your ID. You have still not performed me three fourths I ID. I don't know what tattoo. I don't know what you got. Okay, the woman is behind him who called the cops. She knows it's not him. Right now, you guys are in violation of color and law. Okay. Because you are at my door with guns. And I feel for my life. I have not committed no crime. This is this is law. I have not committed a crime. We're suspecting a fugitive. Okay. No, I am not harming a fugitive. Okay. Because you have no evidence, video or audio of me having a fugitive. You are going off words. Okay. That's why we're here to check it out. Okay. There is no fugitive. Okay. We're all neighbors here. You need to knock on everybody's door. Okay. Not if they said they came here. Okay. No, they didn't come here. Okay. Why would he say he came here? I don't know. He didn't come here. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. So you We're tell me. So walk away. He walked, he walked away. Walked to the back. Straight to the back. I don't know well, what's going on in the back. Out, There's another you subject. Hands okay. What's going okay. on? What's going on? I just told you what I seen. Can we That's check it. your house? Get a warrant. Would you allow us to check your house? Get a warrant. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Close the door. All right. I just skipped that network break because this is so important. Now, again, those cops overall are being pretty reasonable after they first try to act like the phone's a gun and, you know, say, hey, you better watch it. I'll drag you out of here and all the rest of it. They then back down and are more reasonable. Clearly, the woman's right there behind them saying she thinks he went in there. And then if the police did see somebody hiding back in there, they would have probable cause to come in. But no court is going to hold that up that this woman says she thinks he went in there because they're neighbors and that he walked off. The point is, do you want people showing up at your door going, hey, the neighbor thinks that he came in here. I mean, my dad has a neighbor. My dad's got four acres in the middle of town that he bought 20 years ago, and now it's gotten all built up around it. And I'm not trying to be mean. These people all have Democratic Party signs around it. And I'm just, they're incredible control freaks. They're always calling code enforcers on each other. It's just ongoing. I, I, met my, I go to my parents at least, you know, once every couple of weeks with the kids swimming in their pool. And they got like rope swings and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's like a park over there. And I've been there three times the police have been called. One time my daughter was in the heated pool. And my son was filling up the water gun with cold water shooting her, and she screamed. It was obviously a little girl screaming, having a good time. And the police showed up and literally said, well, your neighbor said they thought they heard someone being beaten and attacked. And the cops said, D you know, do you just, you know, mind if I just uh, look in, you know, your front door? And my dad's right there because we'd already gone in from the pool. He looked in, everybody was fine. He just stuck his head in. He said, okay, sorry, see you later. We could, now, he could have said, no, 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 you can't. But we're just sitting there. The front door's right there. The living room's right there. We're sitting there having, you know, dinner. Yeah, man, we're all family. Everything's fine. See, look. But then the cops went down. The neighbor was waiting and was sitting there waving their arms, wanting us to get in trouble. The other two times... There's a neighborhood back behind my parents where they shoot fireworks, and that same neighbor, it's always got 15 Democratic Party signs in her yard, I just think that's interesting, calls the cops, and they come. This is two times I've been there, and we're sitting there barbecuing or whatever, hanging out, and they're like, yeah, we got a report of fireworks. We're just going, uh-huh. My parents have a fire pit out there by the pool. We're just like, no, we're not shooting fireworks off. But... That's the country we live in. So, so much of it is, used to, you'd have a family unit in a tribe, and if some man beat up a woman bad, the brother or the father would come over and deal with them. We don't have families like that anymore. We have men in uniforms that show up. And I like how the guy points out, why don't you go knock on all the doors? Because I've already dealt with this with these neighbors that like to call the police the drop of a hat. Out in the country where I've got a place with my family. All my neighbors have had the police called on them. Including myself, but they didn't know who was doing it, so they drove by. And I was going somewhere, so I didn't talk to them. If you shoot a rifle or shotgun on your own property, all these Californians, we've talked to the neighbors, they're all Californians. 
I've been back there shooting a shotgun before with my children in the middle of the country. And I hear screaming 300 yards away down the creek with, with a woman and children running. And I'm shooting a shotgun the opposite direction into a clay embankment shooting targets with my children, a 410. And I hear, they're shooting, ah, ah, ah. I mean, 300 yards away, like screaming bloody murder, running up the hill, hyperventilating. A lot of this is just the degeneration of society and just the absolute mindlessness of it. But you can err on the side of, yeah, let the cops come in. Let the cops do whatever they want. That will always turn into a nightmare. That's all I'm saying. Like it's been known for a long time, the cops want to search your house without a warrant. They claim a 911 call came in. There's just a lot of this stuff going on, and it's got to be dealt with. That's my only point on that front. I want to go to George and Gary with a little bit of overdrive if we need to to talk to them. Before I go any further, please remember this entire broadcast is listener-supported. The nightly news, the documentary films, the special reports, <coughs> the magazine, the reporters going around the country and the world. Everything we do, the news websites, the studios, everything. So we bring you the highest quality supplements, water filtration, pro-gun, pro-liberty t-shirts, ball caps, belt buckles, InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com for the high quality supplements, the super male vitality, the super female vitality. I mean, it's the best stuff out there in my view. Nothing else like it. Uh, the Occupower, the Survival Shield X2, nascent iodine. You've heard the rave reviews. Take the challenge. Buy a couple of bottles of supplements. See what it does for you. Talk to your physician or healthcare provider if you got any questions. Give us a call toll free. We can answer all your questions. Tell you about any of the specials we're running. 888-253-3139. 888-253-3139. And also spread the word about our AM and FM affiliates. Spread the word about their local sponsors or become a sponsor of our local stations and keep spreading the word. We're all in this together. Let's talk, and I want to thank you all for your support. Subscribe to the Nightly News, PrisonPlanet.tv. George in Connecticut, um, go ahead. Thanks for calling. I, I'm, I thought of uh, three possible uh, solutions to uh, getting uh, these globalists and throwing them back. Uh, I call my first uh, suggestion, law back the grenades. Uh, basically taking all their incidents, say like the border situation, and making it a major incident uh, and, and combining things. Take the vets, take the Tea Party and people like that. They call us all uh, put on the special list. Let's all go down to the border, have a party, uh, and basically seal up the border. And all the gun people uh, at the border will have a gun show, a barbecue, and maybe some sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, concert or something like that. Make a big thing of it. Get th hundreds of thousands of people to get down there and, uh, and show that 80% of the people, it's the number one issue in the country. That's the first suggestion. It's a great and idea. you got to stop the infiltrators. They'll try to provocateur, but... Yeah. And uh, a second point, maybe calling Operation Break the Bubble. Most of these globalists are in the little bubble because they don't have any reaction from, from these situations. What we should do is, I suggest... Hold on, stay there, George. This is genius. I want to come back to you. Yeah, no. Go to their businesses, go to their houses, go to their public events, get tickets to their speaking events, and get in their face, make them uncomfortable, let them know you're aware of their program, and let everybody else be aware so that when all this stuff comes down, they get the blame. They're not going to escape Nuremberg II, not George Soros, not Hillary Clinton. When Al-Qaeda attacks Benghazi, Libya, they GCN. did this. Obama and the globalists launched this Libya. Now Al-Qaeda is running today. around murdering everybody. They need to pay for it. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. 
Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network.